Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Like you saw in the title, I'm going to be recreating Alia Bhatt's wedding look. I know there have been such incredible recreations of her look already on the internet, on YouTube, on Instagram. The creators out there have done an incredible job. And I'm really nervous to be honest because I really hope I do justice to this look. The first time around when I saw her pictures, I was like, I have to recreate this because her makeup look was so real it was embracing your real skin and minimal makeup so real so regal and to be honest i was in awe when i saw her pictures it was absolutely beautiful and surreal so here's my recreation but i thought why not make it affordable so all the products that you're going to see in this video are super duper affordable from the drugstore but great quality of course there's not a lot of makeup that has gone in but very intelligently done makeup the good thing i liked about her look was that her skin prep was amazing so I'm gonna leave my skincare routine that I did how did I prep my skin to get to the base so that my base which is a very light base doesn't cake and looks absolutely flawless let's dive right into this video before you do that please make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you've also hit the notification bell do also follow me on my Instagram and now let's dive right into it there's also a huge giveaway coming at the end of the video Firstly guys, we are 4 lakh YouTube family right here on this platform. When I started out a few years ago, I couldn't have even imagined being here. You guys have shown me so much love and support. It gives me goosebumps, it feels surreal, I have been so excited since the time we hit 4 lakh. Thank you so much guys, I really can't thank you enough for showing so much love and support each and every day. Please keep on pouring this in, means the world to me. I wanted to give you a token of my love and I wanted to give back. So here's a curated hamper from me for one of you. It's going to be a mix of skincare and makeup. You will know everything at the end of the video, so keep on watching. Now let's dive in and let's quickly get started on this makeup look. Now when you see Alia's picture, the first thing that you see is that even though her makeup is minimal, there is this radiance underneath her makeup, her base. So I could see that there's a strobe cream being used there and the one that I'm going to use is this one from Swiss Beauty. This is the real base. This is an incredible affordable product and I feel this is pretty much a dupe of the Max Strobe Cream to be honest. It's uh, very affordable and does the job really well. Doesn't have a lot of chunky glitter particles but definitely um, is something that gives you that dewiness. So I'm just going to place it on the high points of my face mainly. This by the way is uh, slightly more thicker than the strobe cream. The strobe cream is extremely liquidy but to be honest with you this is the closest dupe that I could find in a way. Now this is going to give you that glow from within kind of a look so I'm just going to put it on the high points of my face. Now moving on to foundation. Now the foundation that she has is a very very light coverage foundation. I'm going to use a drugstore foundation which is actually a long wearing foundation because of course for a wedding look you need something that's long wearing but in her case it wasn't heavy so we're not gonna go heavy the foundation that I'm using is a pretty full coverage one at that but I am going to shear it down I'll tell you how I have the superstay uh, full coverage foundation by Maybelline this is uh, a very long wearing foundation so I'm gonna take just a little bit spread it all over my face and then I'm gonna shear it out using a beauty sponge I have mixed two colors because I don't have a perfect match for myself in this foundation but uh, I love this foundation and I like to dot it in and then I'm just gonna pat it through so it's gonna shear down the coverage but it's still gonna give me that very slight little coverage her skin of course was absolutely clear I couldn't see any acne or anything I do have an acne popping right here and right here which I will have to cover just a little bit we are going to keep it as natural as possible and well the whole idea is for your natural skin to show through so I'm just going to dot this and then just spread it out all over my face. Her concealer work is very light handedly done but it's a full coverage concealer. So I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Coverage Concealer. This in my opinion is a beautiful concealer that covers practically everything. If you have dark circles this is the one to go for. I'm going to however be taking very little product so I'm just going to take a little bit on the sides of my eyes and a little bit in the inner corner just to kind of uh, blend that darkness out. Now if you have more darkness around the eyes you can go in with a little bit of more product or for a fuller coverage you can use uh, a concealer brush. I always like using a sponge more to um, do my base makeup because I feel you know it looks slightly more natural. 
with a brush the coverage of course is a lot better now if you look at her picture closely she has a very soft bronzer going on with a very soft natural looking blush the bronzer that i'm going to use is the 025 sun glow from brimel this is a beautiful natural looking bronzer and i'm just going to uh, just you know warm my face up because her face looks a little bit warm uh, her uh, there's no contouring going on there no chiseling of the face anywhere just a little bit of bronzer just to warm up the face a little bit and I'm gonna be using it very light handedly if you see it's just added a little bit of color to the face and that's what I'm gonna do the other side the brush that I'm using is by the way from the pack Jovita brush set this is an amazing set it is so good on quality and just love how thought through the entire brush set is and I'm just gonna blend this through specifically love this powder brush Moving on to blush, so that's all the bronzer work we are going to do. It's light, it's nice, just a touch of color. We need a flush of color on the cheeks and she has a very soft one at that. So I have two products here. I was slightly confused, so I'm going to show you both of these. This is the K Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Rustic Rush. Uh, these are great blushes and they blend out very easily as well. And we have the Fit Me Maybelline Fit Me Blush. This is a very, very soft touch of color. So what I'm thinking is, I'm going to experiment a little bit. I haven't done this before, but why not let's try i'm gonna take a little bit of this because her blush look more like a lip and cheek tint than actually a powder blush uh, and i'm gonna to top up the maybelline blush on top of this i hope this works and it isn't a bummer at the end of it but let's see so i'm just going to add this cream blush and blend it out it's slightly so her blush is slightly pinky peachy and has tones of uh, orange to it this K Beauty blush also had a little bit of a tinge of peach if you see you know slightly orangey that's all I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna take the other side and then blend it out I like to do my cream blushes with my fingers because that's way, that uh, way they look a lot more natural. I really like how just that cream blush look on its own but since this is a wedding look we need to keep it long lasting. I'm going to take the Maybelline blush in 25. I'm going to take the same brush, dip it in ever so slightly. This is not a very pigmented shade. Uh, at least on my skin it doesn't show out to be very pigmented but it's a great blush. Like I really like that soft flush of color and I'm just going to set the cream blush below with this now if you see my face has color but it's not a lot of blush now the thing about natural makeups are that uh, you should apply a little bit of blush on your nose I anyway like doing this but in her picture which is right in front of me I do see that her blush looks very very natural like uh, you know flush of color on her face so do make sure that you do put some blush on your nose it just looks very natural and healthy and I'm just gonna put it on the apples of my cheeks as well like she doesn't have a lot of blush on the apples of her cheek but I like to do it this way it makes the face look more rounded if I had to say what's my favorite makeup product has to be a lip and cheek tint or a blush because it adds that flush of color I'm gonna go in with the brows her brows are very natural looking but they definitely are filled in I'm gonna take the hazelnut uh, brow pencil from K Beauty this is a very creamy formula. You can go very heavy with this, so be very careful. And then I'm gonna take just a spoolie brush like this. This is from Cuffs and Lashes. The number is E002, great product. And then I'm just going to blend it out nicely. Now do you see the difference between both the brows? A nicely done up brow can add so much definition to your face. By nicely done up, I don't mean that you have to go heavy handed with the filling in your brows. I've just done it very lightly, but it still gives me that definition to the face. I'm gonna do the other side quickly and be right back. Now I'm gonna be setting my concealer and base, which I should have done earlier, but uh, this is the one that I'm gonna be using. This is the sugar translucent powder. I'm gonna just take the sponge that comes with it. I'm going to set in the area around my mouth because that's likely to sweat the most. And then I'm just going to set my nose a little bit. I'm also going to take a little bit and set underneath my eyes. Like once I have a very nice set base, I basically don't need to worry about creasing or anything and especially creasing of the concealer. 
Now I actually zoomed into her eye makeup, it's beautifully and naturally done but there is a dash of colour. So there is a little bit of bronzer, brown shade that's used on her eyes. Uh, just to give a little bit of definition, I'm going to be using this uh, palette which is the Ultimate Nudes by Makeup Revolution. You can use just about any contour powder or you can also use a bronzing shade. This shade right here is the one that I'm going to pick up. I'm going to tap off the excess and I'm just going to go on my lower lash line first and just spread that color out. Now the same shade I've taken on the same brush and with a very light hand I'm just intensifying the socket of the eye, basically the crease area. I'm bringing it out a little bit also that adds a lot of definition to the eyes. I actually love doing that in my natural makeup looks all the time. A dash of coal and lots of mascara and that's about it with the eye look. The coal that I'm going to be using is the Max Factor Coal Liner Kajal. This is extremely long wearing. I'm first going to line my upper waterline because I find that the toughest to do to be honest. Only a hint of Kajal in her eyes upper and lower waterline, that's what I'm going with. So this eye is complete, I just have to add mascara. I'm going to be adding the coal to this one as well. Finishing up the eye look with a lot of mascara, I'm using the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. This is one of the most amazing drugstore mascaras. It gives you a lot of length and a lot of volume. I per se need a lot of volume on my lashes all the time. So I'm just going to blink at the mascara wand a little bit and then I'm going to wiggle it through. That way it's going to give me length and density as well. Now I don't see a lot of highlighter on her face, uh, there's a very very little wash off highlighter. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade Molten Rose Gold. This is a very pigmented highlighter so I have to be very careful with this. Like I'm literally just belly dipping my brush. Make sure to tap off the excess. I'm just going to go in on the high point of my face and of course underneath my brow bone area and that's about it. Do you see there is a little bit of sheen but there's not a punch of highlighter there. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this makeup in place. I'm using the Grand Finale Dewy Setting Mist from the brand Sugar. This definitely makes the makeup last a lot more longer. I'm just going to go ahead and spray nicely. For her lip colour, she went something which is very close to her lips actually, it almost felt like she was not wearing anything on her lips. So I went in with the Gossip K Beauty Lip Crayon, this is one of my favourites for sure if you had uh, been following me for a while, but it just looks extremely natural as well, so I'm going to be using this. Now she also has a small maroon bindi on her forehead. I don't wear small bindis or maroon bindis. I love wearing nice big red ones. So I picked out a maroon liquid lipstick and dotted on my forehead. I think it looks pretty similar and one has to make do with what you have, right? And now I'm going to go ahead, wear the jewellery and show you the final look. So guys, that's the complete look. I really hope I was able to do justice to Alia Bhatt's very regal and royal look. If you want me to do more recreations of uh, any celebrity looks, makeup or skincare for that matter, please feel free to leave it in the comment section and I would love to do these videos for you. Now coming to the exciting part, the giveaway. Here's a picture of what you're getting in the hamper. It's a curated, hand-picked hamper for one of you. You have amazing skincare and makeup products in here and one of you can win it. All you have to do is like this video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave me a comment with that one video that you want to see from me, the one that you haven't seen from me yet but you want to see from me. With that, it's a wrap guys. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell. Until I see you next guys, thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Bye-bye.